I absolutely love getting up at this time. It was something I was always hiding from on my journey. I was always like, oh no, I don't know about getting up early. Like 10 a.m. is fine, like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. is fine. No, bro, I'm telling you right now, get up at 5 a.m. And that will lead me on to my next point. So if you're struggling to stay consistent, if you're struggling to build a habit on your self-improvement journey, then it's important to note that there are multiple things you can do because trust me, I know I know it gets hard. I know there's days where you don't want to do it or oh, I can't be bothered today or I want to lay in bed next extra hour. I was like that too. This morning, my alarm went off and I thought to myself, I really would just love to stay in my bed for an extra hour. But then I thought to myself, I've set this alarm for a reason, so I may as well just get up, right? So that's the first step. The first step right there, okay, is just literally, the first step, right, the habit, for example, is you got to stack it on top of other stuff. So see if I set my alarm the day before, okay? So plan your day, plan today, the day before. Fuck, plan tomorrow, the today, right? <laughs> Don't know why it was so hard for me, bro. The gym's getting to me. But so what you do is you write down exactly what you got to do tomorrow, okay? Have a routine, right? Say, okay, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. So if I'm waking up at 5 a.m., then I'd like to be in bed by about 8 so I can be sleeping for nine and get eight hours sleep, right? That's what I do. And I finish work at six, so that gives me an hour to read and then just go straight to bed. So and then after that, what I do is I'll wake up at 5 a.m. And then, because I think to myself, oh, I'm up at 5 a.m., gym opens at six, so I may as well go to the gym. So, you know what I mean? Like, that's how I'm consistent with the gym. That's how I just stay consistent with it, because I'm like, it's already there. Like, it's already an option. And with anything else, you're not going to, game are you at like 5 6 a.m i think well i'd certainly hope you wouldn't but i couldn't even do that even when i was addicted i was like nah i'd feel like too much of a piece of shit so that's a really important thing to keep note if you stack it on top of other things and it becomes natural so 5 a.m okay i'm up have my breakfast and i'm like okay a little bit of time before the gym okay so five to six right so then i'll meditate for 10 minutes maybe a bit longer if i feel like it but the thing is I've kind of been slacking off on meditation, I will admit that, so I'm just currently at the 10 minute mark right now, probably going to up it to 15 soon, and then you just go from there, so meditation gym, now I'm going to go home, then I'm going to shower, get ready for work, and when I'm in, at home, I'm going to schedule to this video to be uploaded at 6pm, and then get my shorts done after I get in, so I'll have the shorts uh, ready to go at 4pm, 6pm, no, half 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., right? So I'm in my bed at 8 p.m., so that's already done for me. So I've done my work for today. I've got my videos all ready to go. I've got been to the gym, I've meditated, and then I read it at the end of the day, like, bro. And I'm not, I don't have time for any other activities now. Like, I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to look at porn or whatever. Like, I don't do any of the bad habits anymore because I don't, I, I can't. It's not in my routine. This is also really helpful for addiction, by the way, man. Like, Addictions are tough, but see, once you change your identity, along with changing your routine, because now I feel like a totally, completely different person than I was last week. Like, me and him, totally different people. And it's great, man. And, like, if my friends need me, because I'm off social media, they just send me a text. I just chat to them, man. It's, it's good. It's really good. And obviously, see, when I'm at work, sometimes there is temptation to go on your phone, especially when you're not doing anything, right? I'll admit that. But what I've done is sometimes, I'll admit it, I, my friends will message me and I'll message them back and then we'll have a little chat but like that's nowhere near as bad as mindlessly consuming because you're still chatting with your mates and it's still like I know it's not proper social interaction because you haven't seen them and you're at work but it's still nice to keep in touch you know what I mean so habits really they're hard to they're hard to build but if you know the right stuff then I'm gonna stay <coughs> habits are hard to build but if you know the right stuff and you get in that okay I wake up at this time, I do this, I do that. Now it comes easier for you. So that's my little bit of knowledge today. Gonna get ready to go home, shower, and I'll see you in the next video before I sneeze again. Oh, is it coming? No, I think we're fine. Oh, Lord. Okay, um, <laughs> see you in a bit, boys. And let me know the thing you struggle with the most in the comments, and I'll make sure to get back to you. And if my eyes seem funny, it's because I'm really unsure when I'm gonna sneeze, bro. <laughs> right. Catch you in a bit, bro.